Check this out, ladies and gentlemen, for the absolute highest quality Oscar-worthy acting. You're never going to see acting any better than this. It, it is glorious. All right, so when I say glorious, I mean absolutely terrible, but let's be fair to Jeff. He's not an actor, right? But yeah, cool little sort of teaser there for the Overwatch Lego sets because it's like, finally, where have these things been? I remember when I was in Korea... Um, when was this? Uh, what? Was that like two months? No, it was a month ago? Was it like, whatever it was. I was in Korea for the Diva Cinematic, right? They had a Overwatch Lego stand and it was being set up, right? And it was all behind like this big like barricade. You couldn't see in there. And I'm like, oh my God, is that the Overwatch Lego? Are those the figures? Are we going to see for the first time the Overwatch Lego sets? And then boom, the walls came down and it was just a Lego like remake of the uh, one of the points on the Busan map and I was like well that looks really cool but it's not what I was expecting also I was really miffed because there was no nerf guns as well even though they had like a, a little display for nerf but then they had like no guns it's like what the hell anyway there was no lego I'm like what the hell bliss so if we go back in time ladies and gentlemen we go all the way back to May there was a post on Business Wire, which is basically where businesses do press releases, um, which said, I think it was May the 22nd, and it said, hey, there's going to be a collaboration between Overwatch and Lego, or rather between Activision Blizzard and Lego, and it includes Overwatch League, Call of Duty, uh, Crash Bandicoot, and all these other beautiful franchises. But of course, what we're interested in is the Overwatch Lego stuff. What's it going to be? What's it going to look like? What the hell is going on? Well, then in August... We got a teaser. Now, this was the this was actually during the event, right? I'm pretty sure this was the event. So this tweet went out when I was in Korea, I think. Um, and this was like, oh, yeah, look at this. And they're teasing heroes with this. They tease Genji, McCree. Um, I don't actually know who that is. Is that Widow? <laughs> it's like Genji, McCree, Widow. I don't, I don't know. Mercy, Soldier, and then some, some... It might not even be a figure. It might just be like a Lego guy. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like some whatever... It's got one eye and a tosh. Nobody in Overwatch looks like... Whatever, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, then we fast forward to today. And this is like obviously where we get Jeff's beautiful like little, little bit of uh, goodness going on. But still, it doesn't tell us anything about release dates. It doesn't tell us what these kits actually are. It's just a teaser. Now, all of this makes sense because at the end of the month, it's BlizzCon, right? So BlizzCon is... Um, is it the third to the fourth? I think it's the third to the fourth. Let's just do some in-audio recording for the video Googling because it's very professional. Right, ladies and gentlemen. BlizzCon dates 2018. Uh, the second, actually, to the third. So the second, this is the end of the month, right? So if they tease this now, it's like, hey, we're going to have some Overwatch stuff, and then we're probably going to see little Overwatch kits crop up every now and again. But all that we can see from this is there is a very mini sort of your typical Lego figure of Tracer. But beyond that, we don't know what we're actually going to get. So it is pretty interesting. All right, so other stuff in this video to cover is uh, we still don't have a teaser as of recording of this video for the... Um, Ne the next legendary skin or whatever it will be for the uh, Halloween event. I'd expect this will come out, ladies and gentlemen, possibly later on tonight if you're in the UK, um, I, maybe around like 1 a.m. or something like that. If not, then it might come out tomorrow because remember, it is the 9th of October. The event starts. They've got six legendary skins. Maybe they'll tease other epic skins as well like they've, do like they've done with other events. We've had the whole discussion before about this where it's like, is this actually... Is it, is it a good idea to tease all of the content before the event goes live? Because it's a bit like, well, we already know what we're getting, Blizz. So it's not great, is it? Like, we prefer to be like, hey, what's the surprise? Let's all log in. But I'm sure they're probably referring to statistics they've got of the various tweets they've done. Going, well, look at all the people that have watched these tweets and whatever. More people log in. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have access to any of their live data, whatever the hell is going on. Anyway, that's about it for today. Again, another light video. Um, I am working on some videos which are going to be um, like more more like uh, how the content used to be on the channel because honestly, like just doing these kind of update videos, they're fine and I guess you guys do want to know about this but it is a bit like, Ugh. but then, you know, you've got the old YouTube grind of this son of a uh, website wants a video every single day. So some days, obviously you can't keep up with like a really high quality of video content if you're being forced to do that. You know, one of the arguments for this is like, if you're forced to make this much content, why don't you just stream Overwatch or just stream, you know, anything on Twitch? Because you'd be arguably doing the same thing and maybe it'd be more interesting. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Losa and this is you in the last if you enjoyed the video in fact before i end as well there is the gilded gala going on um this month in london for spitfire um there is uh, i'll put a link to this in the video description but you can click this and um if you're a uk 
national or if you're in the EU, um, you can like basically get a VIP ticket to come to the event. We have sold out 500 tickets, which is really awesome. Um, so it should be a really fun event. But yeah, there is still a chance if you are like a you know a YouTuber or whatever, then you might be able to get a ticket um, if you're a local sort of influencer style person. And I think local expands to the EU. Anyway, all right, guys, um, that's about it for this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, toodaloo. <laughs> this has been an amazing video. <laughs>